I'm Chrissy Beavis. I'm here at the main forest rally. I've been on Monster Garage and I'm watching Press Pass TV. Hey, welcome to Press Pass TV. I'm Morgan Page. Flying cars have been a staple of futuristic science fiction for over 50 years. And while we haven't seen anything like what the Jetsons dreamed up yet, a flying car might not be as far off as you think. Check out this next story. We started off about three years ago with the idea of building a flying car. I've been thinking about that forever and uh, retired a few years ago, so I decided it was time to start working on it. We spent a year doing the design work, including the computer wind tunnel type work. And then uh, in January of 06, we started building the actual prototypes. And we've been working on these for two years now. And this uh, is called our air car. It's a four door, four seat flying car that will fly at 200 miles an hour for about a thousand miles range. It's the fastest way to get from door to door that there is because if you can leave your garage, go to a local airport, take off, fly to your destination airport, which might be central Ohio or somewhere, land, at, and there's an airport in every little town, and then drive to your actual destination. That's the fastest way to get there. There are three sections of wing. The inner section is fixed and doesn't fold, but the two outer sections fold into a box, sort of like that, and they all fold together. This just lifts up like this. and then it would lift up and lock together. The wheels retract down so it sits closer to the ground and the vehicle is seven feet wide and seven feet high so it's very easily rotable. Um, and this vehicle does not fly yet. This is our concept prototype. Um, this fall we expect to start working with a company that will build this as an airplane. But what we've accomplished here in this first vehicle is make sure the doors fit and make sure the wings fold together and it balances the way it should and so we've learned a lot in doing this first prototype. Well I'm imagining that for this kind of vehicle you would definitely need to get your flyer's license? Yes, you need a, a pilot's license and of course a driver's license. What made you think of doing this, inspired you? Well I've been thinking about a flying car for 30 or 40 years wow. now and uh, once I retired, I decided this, if I was going to work on it, this was the time to do it. So we started, and uh, we've made, I think, reasonable progress, not as fast as I would hope, but, but uh, we're trying to build vehicles that are as simple as possible, fewest moving parts possible, so there's less things to go wrong. And, um, and we decided on this engine setup, these will be rotary type engines, like in a, similar to what a Mazda rotor engine is, with a ducted fan propellers. Uh, it has sort of a futuristic look, and so it aids in the look of it all, but it also uh, is really about the only place we could put the engine. And one of the problems with this vehicle is getting it all to fit together. What are your hopes for it? Well, I would uh, love to be able to sell enough electric cars to be able to afford to build the air car and uh, maybe either uh, build the airplane as an experimental aircraft or eventually as a certified airplane. And I expect that eventually we'll partner with a larger company that, will, that has the ability to manufacture and is younger than I am. <laughs> thank you so much for thank your help. You nice to much. meet you. Yes. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that story, and if you want to check out more behind-the-scenes action, log on to PressPass.tv or YouTube.com slash PressPass. And you can check out our new live or podcast radio shows at PressPassRadio.com. For everyone here at PressPass TV, I'm Morgan Page. Bye.